Welcome to my channel. Now I've got something super exciting to show you. Now I've been waiting for a new site table saw for some time. It's a question that I get asked so much by carpenters, by builders, even roofers. People who need to do lots of ripping down on site where a circular saw just isn't man enough. Behind me, I have got one of the saw stop saws. This is one of the first in the UK, indeed in Europe. I'm also joined by Michael, who has been setting up the saw stop business in the UK and Europe. He's here to show me all about it and have a chat with me. Give us a little bit of a background of saw stop first of all. Sure, yeah, so saw stop's been in business for 20 years, uh, saving fingers for 20 years, and we now thought it's the right time to do that in Europe because we're celebrating that. Uh, we're also uh, owned by the TTS group who okay. owns First Tool. So we've right. tried it here in Europe before with the First Tool product. And we learned from that really that it's really important to just have a singular focus on saving fingers. So tell us why they are so good and what your USP is. Yeah, so uh, absolutely fantastic products, really good quality products. The one key feature is of course the source stop aim technology, the active injury mitigation. So a really amazing technology, like I say, it's super simple. Uh, and that's why it's been, for over 20 years, we've never had a failure and just saved countless fingers. So your saw is designed to save fingers. Tell us how that works. Yeah, so it's a really simple concept actually. So uh, on the blade, uh, you've got constantly a current yeah. uh, running through that blade. And when organic material, so like a finger touches it, it detects as a change in capacitance and then it activates a brake, right? So this is the brake and this brake mechanism, then there's a small explosion. This aluminum brake unit gets thrown into the saw blade and because of the speed of that and the power of that it drops it below the table uh, and stops Amazing. the brake dead in less than five milliseconds so less than a blink of an eye and so this whole unit here has got technology electronics all inside it yep. that's actually saving people's fingers that's now tell me yep. um, how what the success has been like in the last 20 years you said yeah well, so in 20 years, you know, people now in the US uh, have seen that actually a risk like this can happen to anybody. It can happen at any moment, whether you're experienced or whether you're a beginner woodworker. Yeah. And it's just great having that backup technology in there that you can 100% rely on. Right. So, so in the US, we have a, a fantastic reputation for the technology, but also we deliver a really great product and yeah. a great service. I think, and that's my mission here is to do yeah. the same thing in Europe. Well, I can already say, so yesterday I took this straight from the box and when I got it out of the box, I was thinking there'll be a lot of putting together to be done, but there was, it was so straightforward. I just had to, these arms to put on with four little bolts yeah. and I had the wheels to put on. And so basically apart from there's a transit pin somewhere that we need to remove, this is site ready, isn't it? Yep. But I think what we need to do is, um, I've used the small one, the compact, we'll get that out, we'll put it next to it as well. I think that'd be useful so you can see the two sizes. But this, I don't think there's another one as portable as this in the UK for sites. So this is gonna be really exciting. So we're gonna run them up, we're gonna get them going, and we're also gonna demonstrate just how good source stop technology is. So what's great about this saw is it's really well thought through. So perfect for the job site. It's very maneuverable. You can just move it around, really easy to maneuver. Put it back into place, unclip it, and then put it into position. You got your fence and your push stick all neatly tucked away here. You even got a space down for an extra blade on the right hand side. When you want to get your fence out, you just unlock it, bring it out, and you can put it straight down, lock it down. Can you just show me how that works? That looks so easy. Yeah, so you take this off and you put it back in the storage, push it in and then make sure it's locked in place and you're ready to go. So another really easy thing about this one, really simple, one turn elevation. Do that again. One turn elevation, yeah, you see? Blimey. Really fast. Look at that. One turn, literally. One turn elevation. That's yeah. something else, isn't it? So you can adjust it like this. You just grab and turn it to the right angle. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So you can pull it straight round to there. I mean, that's so fast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really well thought through for the job site. So uh, really big grip capacity, big depth of table. You've got, you can extend this oh, also yes. that's nice, all the way to uh, 25 and a half inches, just over around 65 centimeters. Tool storage in here. So you've got everything you oh, need. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Yeah. 
What's really nice about this model is the MicroGuard uh, uh, dust collection system as well. So you can have dust collection here at the top, yeah. and it's got a really good dust collection down at the bottom. European versions will come with a fuzz tool adapter yeah. for that. And then, so you've got really good dust collection if you're working inside the, the building. That works really well on this model. That's neat, isn't it? That little compartment there. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, everything's just well, really well thought through for the job site. So you've got your tools here to change the blade. And you can take this off. You've got your tool storage here, your extra driving knife yeah. storage here, and of course you can put your blade here as well. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. A couple of nice features on the fence. So if you want to have a bigger rip, you can just unlock it here, slide it out, and then you can also support your workpiece under here, expanding this one. And so you've got this coverage there when you're so, at oh, full Oh, that pops full out, distance. does it? Yeah. Oh, neat. And that's Locks. obviously the same level as the bed. Yeah. Locks down really well as well with this ergo lock. So really solid support there and a really smooth uh, uh, face to that one. You've also got the low style fence as well, so you can just unlock that here. Hang on, sorry, unlock there. Oh, nice. Bring that over, relock it back in place again. Now you've got a, a low fence for when you're making those really small, yeah, that's nice. Finer cuts. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Pull it out, bring it back over, lock it back. Yep, just relocate it into the holes. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? It's like getting a new car. You can't find all the buttons, can you? You have to learn them. <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about turning it on and turning it off. Yep. So when you turn it on, there's a little switch under here. You can turn it on and then you'll see it starts activating itself. So it just takes a moment to just check itself, make sure that the brake is ready, that everything's in there. And then you'll see that red light stop flashing and now we're good to go. Okay. And it's a pull to start. And a push to stop. So it's quite right. positive, is it? So if we give it a little pull. Fine. And you can see then the green light will start again, ready to go again. So it's fairly straightforward, very simple to operate. I mean, we've just got that one turn straight up and down, yep. which um, I particularly like that. I think that's really nice. People are going to want to know if you've got wet material. Is it likely to activate? Well, there's a ton of videos on the internet you can find about that. It, that wood has to be really, really wet okay. for you to do it. Uh, but if you're ever cutting something that, that you feel like you want to turn off the system, you can yeah. do that very easily. Okay. Uh, there's a procedure for that. It's all described on, on this side here. Oh, you've you actually got the instructions here. Yeah, you okay. can turn it off. You can make a cut. Next time you come to use it, it's automatically turned back on again. Yeah. Yeah, because what happens out on site, you see, we've got all of the material and then you get a shower overnight. And although the material's moisture content internally won't change too much, it's that little bit of residual moisture. Even if you pick a bit of material up that's been sitting, it may have a pool of water underneath of it. If you're not careful, it's going to turn it off. So, it, sh it should still be fine. Yeah. Uh, but if you have any doubt, like I say, you can easily turn it off quite, Check very quickly. It, yeah. yeah, I think that's going to be where the anxiety comes from. But I think it's like everything, you've just got to get, get used to, haven't you? Let's run a little bit of this stuff through here. Here's a classic example. That's got a little bit of, a little bit of moisture in it. Well, let's put that let's but let's put that through here as well. So I'm going to undo this, slide that back. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Now, if I want to take this further that way now, yep. I would do that by Unlock there. It here and move it across. Okay. And oh. when this is in that position, the scale now that's 110. It says 110. But let me check exactly if, if that is 110. Okay, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good there. Yeah, we're really proud of our quality. That's one of the things that we do really well. The table's really well designed and well thought through, but also we do a lot of quality controls, things like the table uh, uh, flatness, mm. make sure there's no undulations in mm. that. Everything is quality controlled before we release it from the factory, and then also quality controlled again in the warehouse here. So if there's our push stick there, quite often it would be there for me if I'm, I'm finishing it off. Um, of course, you should be using the blade guard as well, but right. for demonstration purposes, yeah. we're, not, we're not doing it today. Interesting, yeah. With the blade guard is all in that little garage that's underneath yeah. here, which is nice. And it's a toolless operation, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we can unplug it in a bit and we can do that as well. If I yeah. unplug it first, and yeah. you can just show us, so you unlatch yeah. that. So, you, so this will be very easy to take off in the European version as well. It's a toolless riving knife change as well. Oh, that's so you can neat. also get that out of there. 
and adjust that to your other size if you needed to. Oh, that's Lock this good, back in. And what's also interesting, if we have an activation and somebody is, uh, uh, sends us in the cartridge, we can read that cartridge and see whether we saved your finger. And if okay. we did, we send you a free cartridge. That's amazing, isn't it? It's also a great product for if you know if you have an apprentice on site of as course. well, making sure that they're safe. Uh, well, well, my apprentices don't get to use one of these for at least a year, and the reason is because they have to watch and learn, and I keep drumming into them basics. Like when when I was at college, that's what I pushed it for. You want to keep your hands away at least 300 millimeters. So basically, you don't want to get your hands past here. It is tempting to do this all the time. It's really tempting, but most accidents come from slipping off your work mm. and going across. You might get a little bit of timber like this, which as you're pushing it through catches and it stops it and you're jarring backwards and forwards. And so it is, is really crucial. Um, anyway, let's put this back on. So we just slot that back in really quite straightforward. Click. We're going to plug it back in now. I'm going to get my ear defenders on and I'm going to run, run it up. I can't wait to put some material for it now. I'm on my own, there's no one putting out the back. So what I do when I rip is I push in, pull back, turn over, push in, pull back, okay? Mm. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. So this is a bit of TR26. This is our truss rafter material. It's a really good white wood. It's got very tight grain and it's just perfect for structural stuff. It's got a lovely ring to it. Oh, I can hear that and it's been lying around so it's pretty hard, but this is a brand new blade so it's gonna handle it no problem. So pull the switch. It's so nice using something for the first time, you know, it's a really nice uh, thing to do as well. So um, yeah, it handles it really easy. You'd expect that as well. 20 years of development. These saws are certainly sight proof, that's for sure. So I think everyone wants to see the sausage trick. OK, so we don't use our real fingers for this. I know that I have seen some on the Internet as well on YouTube. Uh, people who have accidentally caught them as well. But we're not going to do that because that is bad practice. But what we are going to do is would you call it the sausage trick? Sausage demonstration. Okay, the sausage demonstration. Yep. Now this is going to activate the saw stop technology. I can't wait to see it. Fresh Charles. sausages just bought yesterday. I'll have one of them in a minute. They look really tasty, <laughs> don't they? So, oh, there no. we go. Let's get that one ready. All right. Okay. So, um, I think I should do it. Really, I think I should. I should do it, even though I've never done it before, yeah. and I'm a bit nervous. But I think what we'll do is. Um, Oh, this is going to be exciting because it'll break my cardinal rule of the hands in to blade 300 mil. But I'm pretty confident that it's not going to it's not going to bite me. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find a bit of material and we need to run it across. We're going to do this with it. Oh, this is what we're going to do. Okay. What about if I aim the sausage that way? A bit safer, is it? <laughs> Let's see. Do you want to have the blade a little bit higher for this demonstration Fine. as well? And then, yeah, indeed, just run it through this way. Don't try this at home, all right? This isn't something you should try at home. This is something which um, you've got to take great care in, okay? So I'll put my ear defenders on. We'll plug the saw in. The saw is plugged in. Oh, no. I'm, I'm actually nervous. I've never been so nervous <laughs> in all my life, okay? Oh. Oh. Let's just put another camera sideways, really close up, fixed off, because I think that will be really important to see what happens from this angle as well. What do you think? Oh, just hiding my nerves for a bit. Okay. Oh, it's going to be good. So we're going to get this set up. Oh, yes, look at that. It's going to be a great shot. Okay, here goes. Let's get my... 
Yeah, defenders on. I feel like I'm like a stunt man just about to do a massive <laughs> jump on a motorbike across 20 buses or something. Okay. Wow! Did you see that? Or didn't you see that? So fast. Hold on a minute, let's have a... There's not a mark. There's not a mark on that, on that sausage. I mean, that is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, just, there's not a mark on that sausage, is it? Mmm, mm, delicious. <laughs> right, now let's change it all over and see what the blade looks like from inside. Well, that was amazing. Just totally amazing. Wow!